Welcome to Recap Diary. Here's a recap of the movie Annihilation, released in 2018. In a hidden government facility, a group of scientists observe Lena, who appears disoriented. Lomax questions her about her mission, during which she should have consumed two weeks' worth of rations, yet she spent nearly four months inside without eating. Lena can't recall eating or how her teammates died. After persistent prodding from Lomax, she decides to recount her story, starting nearly two years before her mission. At that time, Lena worked as a biology professor at a university. One day, Daniel, a fellow professor, invites her to a barbecue with his family, but she declines, still grieving over her husband's disappearance. Kane, a special forces operative, had gone missing on a classified mission, leaving Lena in agony. One day, while painting her bedroom, Kane mysteriously appeared at the door. Shocked and overjoyed, Lena embraces him. However, Kane appears disoriented and cannot recall any details of his mission or how he returned. Lena notices blood on a glass of water he sips, and they rush to the hospital in an ambulance. During the ambulance ride, government agents intercept them, sedate Lena, and separate her from Kane. When she awakens, she finds herself in the secret facility. Ventress, a psychologist, tries to assess her, but Lena is more concerned about Kane. The vendor informs Lena that Kane is in the facility, gravely ill with multiple organ failures and massive internal bleeding. Ventress then reveals a massive, expanding wall of shimmering light surrounding the crash site, which they call the Shimmer. The Shimmer had been expanding for three years, swallowing everything in its path. Many attempts to investigate it ended in failure, except for Kane, who survived. Lena visits Kane, who is unconscious and on life support. She recalls their happier times before his mission, filled with laughter and affection. The vendor offers Lena the option to return home, but Lena chooses to stay with her husband. Later, Lena meets other scientists working on the Shimmer Project. Anya, a paramedic, Radek, a physicist, and Shepard, a geomorphologist. They share their research findings and theories, revealing that people inside the Shimmer either died or went insane. Unbeknownst to them, Lena knows that Kane is the sole survivor. Lena visits Kane again, promising to help him. She pleads with Ventress to allow her to join the expedition, explaining her desire to find a way to help her husband. Lomax, in the present, questions Lena's motivations, but she simply says she owes Kane. A few days pass and the team embarks on their expedition into the Shimmer. Nervous but resolute, they cross the shimmering barrier only to find themselves engulfed in darkness. Lena, in a tent, dreams of her affair with Daniel, a secret she keeps hidden from everyone. When she awakens, she finds herself with the other scientists inside the Shimmer, unable to remember crossing the tree line. The team experiences memory gaps, with food supplies indicating they've been inside for several days. The Shimmer scrambles signals and distorts reality. Despite their confusion, they press on, using a wristwatch to navigate. As they journey deeper into the Shimmer, they encounter a submerged cabin by a river. Lena observes peculiar mutated plants, all different species growing from the same branch. While collecting samples, they are attacked by a monstrous albino alligator. Lena's military training helps her remain calm, and they eventually kill the mutated creature. In the present, Lena explains that mutations within the Shimmer became increasingly complex the closer they got to the lighthouse. Lomax wonders if these experiences were hallucinations, but Lena insists that they all witnessed the same bizarre phenomena. She corrects him, describing the Shimmer's creations as dreamlike rather than nightmarish. Continuing their journey, the team finds two boats, which they use to cross a river. Shepard and Lena bond, sharing their pasts. Shepard reveals that they are all damaged goods and suggests that they volunteered for the mission due to their personal struggles. Anya, a former addict, bears hidden scars. Redek, too, has a history of self-destructive tendencies. Ventress lacks connections with friends and family, while Shepard lost her daughter to leukemia. The team stumbles upon the ruined headquarters of the Southern Reach, where Lena notices more mutations and tumors on the walls. They discover the belongings of the previous team and a horrifying video recording. 
In the video, Kane and his team dissect a soldier, revealing strange, writhing organisms inside. The team debates whether the video is real or a hallucination. While exploring further, they find the room from the video, complete with a knife in the water and a mutated soldier fused to the wall. Some team members express discomfort, but they have no choice but to stay the night. That night, Lena dreams of her affair with Daniel and the guilt sh she feels for betraying Kane. Daniel argues that they are intellectual equals and that Kane's long absence justified her actions. Lena awakens and inspects her blood under a microscope, witnessing shimmering cells dividing. Lena confides in Ventress about her affair, and Ventress explains that everyone on the team has self-destructive tendencies. However, Ventress does not divulge why Kane accepted the mission. They hear a strange noise outside, and upon investigation they discover a hole in the perimeter fence. Radic and Anya join them and reveal that Shepard disappeared while they were sleeping. They hear Shepard screams in the distance as a fearsome, mutated bear drags her into the forest. The team deliberates their next move. Radic and Anya want to return, believing they have enough evidence of the soldiers going mad. Ventress, however, insists on continuing to the lighthouse to fulfill the mission objectives. Lena agrees with the latter plan, reasoning that they're already too deep into the shimmer to risk another journey through the forest. In the present, Lomax questions Lena's motives, suspecting that she lied to the team. Lima admits she concealed Kane's identity because she wanted to find a way to help him. She returns to recount their story. Leaving the facility, they come across Shepard's bloody shoe. Lena insists on searching for her to confirm her fate. She ventures deeper into the forest, witnessing bizarre phenomena like synchronized antelopes. Eventually, she discovers Shepard's lifeless body among the tree roots. The team proceeds, reaching a town overgrown with vegetation where they encounter plants imitating human shapes. Lena concludes that the shimmer refracts and replicates everything, including DNA. The plants are copying people, and some mutations even mimic each other. In a house, Anya notices movement under her skin but keeps it to herself. During the night, Lena examines her own blood under a microscope, observing shimmering cells. She dreams of her affair with Daniel and the day she tried to end it. Lena wakes to find Anya pointing a gun at her, aware of her secret. Anya ties up the others, claiming they are all liars. Lena watches as Anya's mental state deteriorates, revealing concerns about the strange phenomena affecting her hands. Anya prepares to harm Lena, but they hear Shepard's cries for help. Anya rushes outside and disappears, followed by the mutated bear's attack on the cabin. Lena and Radek manage to kill the bear, but Anya dies in the process. The next morning, Ventress decides to leave, believing they are all disintegrating due to the shimmer. Lena tells Radek that the shimmer is within her, and Radek believes it will soon affect everyone. Radek wants to embrace the change, accepting her self-destructive tendencies and scars, and she walks into the forest. Lena tries to follow but finds only people-shaped plants. In the present, Lomax commends Lena for her survival but questions why she alone made it out. Lena cannot provide a definitive answer. Returning to the story, Lena crosses the forest alone, grieving over her failed marriage. Eventually, she reaches the coast and discovers the lighthouse, surrounded by human skeletons and mutated growths. Inside, she finds a video recording of Kane, who appears disoriented and in despair. He ignites a phosphorus grenade, immolating himself in front of the camera. Another Kane appears on the tape, presumably a shimmer-created duplicate. Exploring further, Lena encounters Ventress, whose face is distorted by mutations. Ventress explains that the shimmer is changing everything, a process called annihilation. Ventress disintegrates into shimmering particles, forming a nebulous structure. Lena tries to shoot it but fails, and it follows her relentlessly. Lena realizes that the shimmer is mirroring her every move, incapable of stopping the mimicry. In a final desperate act, she places a grenade in the Shimmer's hand and activates it. The lighthouse, the mutations, and the Shimmer are consumed in flames as Lena watches. In the present, Lomax ponders the Shimmer's purpose, but Lena believes it seeks change and evolution rather than destruction. The Shimmer has disappeared from the area. Afterward, Lena reunites with Kane, 
but uncertainty lingers in their eyes, hinting at the profound changes they have undergone. In conclusion, Lena, portrayed by Natalie Portman, confronts the alien presence within the Shimmer, ultimately realizing that it is a force of constant change and adaptation. She witnesses its capacity to mimic and transform, including her deceased husband, Kane. The film leaves viewers with lingering questions about the nature of the Shimmer and the consequences of its influence. It's a conclusion that lingers in the mind, provoking discussions about identity, transformation, and the mysteries of the unknown. And that's the end of this recap. Make sure to subscribe, share, and comment. Remember, your engagement and support keep us motivated. Thanks for staying till the end. See you at the next one.